Well, Simon, once again, absolutely love love this mission film. I mean, Thank it's you. over a decade you're doing doing them now. So when you come back to it, yeah, is it like? going back to family and friends and a catch up with all your work do you know what I mean it is a bit I mean more so now on this one because you know so many people are back Rebecca Alec Ving obviously has been there forever and um, and Tom of course so and and, and, and Chris McQuarrie who's come back to direct so and he was on um, Ghost Protocol as a writer so it does feel very like that yeah yeah. and of course there's newbies too Henry Cavill's in this time around so did you give him a a nice welcome what was he he like as part of the books he's the newbie he He was a newbie yeah Henry was great and you know it's not a closed shop everyone's always welcome new new people are always um, a novelty and fun to hang around with and Henry fit right in same as Vanessa same as Angela Bassett you know it was great to to welcome new people in and your character is doing more than than ever Benji in terms of the action stakes it must be something you love about the character that he's not just the tech guy I mean, you're mm. driving the speedboat, you're scuba diving, you're proper fighting. Yeah. Is that part of the, like, do you love with it, where they've gone with your character and that you get to do all the fun bits that everybody else gets to do? Yeah, it's nice to see him evolve and sort of grow as a character. He's gone from being a technician to being a fully fledged agent, you know, and, and is trusted with bigger and more dangerous sort of tasks than he had been before. So it was nice to play that evolution. I've played him four times now, so, you know. That's mad. I yeah. mean, and when you go to the cinema to see this, obviously we all haven't seen anything, we're not part of it, so it's like, oh my God, for us... Is it an experience for you as well? Because you're in it, but obviously this takes mm. ages to do and you're only part of, part of certain parts. So mm. is it as jaw-dropping for you? Do you like? Are you surprised at how they top it every time? I, it really was this time. And I, I kind of had this out-of-body experience watching it in Paris on Monday when I saw it for the first time because I felt like I was watching it as someone who hadn't been there. You know, <laughs> It was so kind of engaging and, and exhilarating that I... It, it, it was extraordinary. I don't think I've ever experienced a film that I've been in like that before. Couldn't right. sleep afterwards. It was very odd. <laughs> right. Um, Tom is so dedicated and motivated. He has to be to do the amount of work he'd have to do to do, to do these films. Why Why do you think, that, what is it about him that he just keeps, do you know what I mean? I've, yeah. If I was as successful as Tom Cruise, I'd probably be at home chilling out, whereas he does more than any actor. The thing is, if you were at home chilling out, you wouldn't be as successful, successful as Tom. Success, successful? successful? He is quite successful. <laughs> he is, He's isn't quite he? quite sexy. It's a good word. You wouldn't, the thing is, Tom doesn't chill out at home. He applies himself with terminal intensity, literally. You know, he, he knows how to go that extra mile, how to apply himself that little bit more that sets him apart from everybody else. And these films, apart from other films, you know, it is in a class of its own when it comes to the action because it's all done by him, by us. You know, we have an amazing stunt crew that help us. But generally speaking, particularly with Tom, it's all done by him for real. And you don't see that that often. And does he encourage you all, like from Rebecca to yourself, to Henry, whoever, to do the action bits yourself? Do you know what I mean? Because he's famous for doing all of his own stunts. Yeah. Everything. Does he encourage everybody else to do that? And like, Or is it do whatever you want? Not really. I mean, I don't, I don't think he would ever be in, in that sort of pressurizing. You know, he, 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 it's his responsibility and he takes it upon himself and he kind of engenders that in us to, you know, because if, you, if, you, if you, you see him doing that and then you say, oh, I don't want to do that stunt, yeah, which is going to be far less work than anything he has to do. You're going to feel like you're not pulling your weight. So naturally, we just all go along for the ride. And also, we don't want to be the ones to say, actually, I didn't do my stunts. Do you know okay, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you're doing those stunts. I mean, we see it for probably it's a couple of minutes on the screen. But they take weeks and weeks, if not a month to, to, to do, mm. right? Like the choreography and all that is hard work to learn, I imagine, to the yeah. part, in the background. Is, yeah. Is that, does, that, does that take a long time and is that part of the hard part of the job maybe? The most yeah, tedious? I mean, every fight sequence has to be choreographed and, uh, you know, every move is, 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 is learnt like a dance and, you know, some of the action sequences, particularly the Paris chase. So when we started shooting, I didn't work for three weeks after we started shooting and I was like, I kept calling Chris McCoy and going, when, when am I coming in? And he said, oh, we're still shooting this car chase. And when I saw it at the cinema, I realised exactly why it took three weeks because mm-hmm. it was just so intricate and amazing. Um, yeah, these things take time, as mm. Morrissey said. Okay. <laughs> and do you worry about people when they're doing these stunts, especially Tom, because obviously he had the big injury with his ankle. Mm. I mean, do people then get a bit more careful and start worrying about, or even in general, surely people go, things can always go wrong even before he broke his ankle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was relieved it was just his ankle, you know. It, 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 it's always a concern. And and I've said on m- many occasions, you know, what, what, what the hell are you thinking? <laughs> But I think he kind of understands the value of taking that risk. And it is this it's all in this film when you watch it. The proof of the pudding is in the tasting. And this tastes like action. It certainly does. Two and a half hours of action. It's brilliant. Thank you yeah. so much for giving your time. Thanks, man. And yeah, congratulations. Awesome. Thank Cheers. you. Thank- 
FM 104. Dublin's hit music station.